Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Punch Club with our hero, Punch Jarred. So, we're just looking at our way of the tiger here. What we want to do next is don't fall down. So, we need that. So, an agility of 8. And we also need 12 points of skill. So, we need to get some fighting in. So, we were here previously getting our asses handed to us because the dark beast is kind of dangerous. We're out of cash. Let's quickly head home. And see if we do what we have in our fridge. We have meat! Yay! Um, so, we need to eat and we need to sleep. So, let's eat once. To get ourselves up to there, and then we're going to crash out. We've got a couple days till our next rookie fight. Yes, yeah, we lost a lot of there. Not good. But we'll be heading back to the gym shortly enough. We just need to get as much sleep as we possibly can before we're hungry. Good to see our health and mood going all the way back up. We'll help with our training. Yeah, you're hungry. Eat the meat, Punch John. Eat meat twice. Alright. We are out of cash, so we should head to the city map. On foot, we will get a full tick worth of work in, and then we are probably going to head to the gym. So there's the day. Yep, let's do more of that. Stop. So it is now fight day. We're going to head to the gym by foot, always by foot. We can't really afford to do it any other way. And we are going to let's get some skill points off silver. Let's have a sparring fight. So we are wind flow dodging, high karate kick, and a basic kick. We've got no other tactical variations we can run, so let's go with that. He's a 5 by 5 so we'll see how far we can get with this. Oh, good combo. That's it. That's it, Punch Shard. Keep kicking. Oh, well, there's the hit. Because it's just about, just before he hit us there, I was about to say, oh no, we still had a chance of getting away with this, we're not taking any damage. Seriously winning the energy war. Good to see. Windflow dodge really helping us there. Let's do it. When actually kicks in. Keep an eye on this up here. Come on, Silver, throw a punch. I want to see my windflow dodge work. Oh, knocked him down. Yeah, we won! Give us three skill points, and very small amount of damage. Good. Now, we get stuck into the gem. Pay the entry fee, yep, and we're on the speed bag. So basically nearly the end of the day. Let's have a look around the room while we're waiting. Yeah, that's you, you, treadmill. Can't see what's on the TV, unfortunately. It's an interesting pattern of like all the technical drawings and stuff on the back wall we've got here. You got it fine other punch out, yeah you find another punch out. Guys working out in his right arm, a massive mega right arm. These guys, yeah, appear to be sharing the load and the rest of it. We can talk to you guys, not them. Well, that's seven agility we've just clicked in. Bending machine. I'm assuming they're a set of strength plates. Let's just double check these. I don't think I've clicked on these before. Let's see what they do. Strength. Yeah, fair enough. Get back over here. And skip. We're not going to get that up to 8 in time for the fight. We are however going to go here and fight. We are fighting Bill Spark. Row 171, he's a 322. He's got a block, a dodge, a high punch. So it's just a slightly hit high hit. His accuracy is an 87, but our highest accuracy is 138. Shame I can't drop that kick. Oh, it's the backhand high punch actually. Put that one in instead. 160, 565, 164, 6, 1383. Alright, so we're going for a dodge. So if we um, start running into an energy problem, then we'll switch out for the, uh, the simple kick. Yeah, that's it. Trading blows. He's got more energy than us. He's got more health than us to start with, but we've knocked him down pretty quickly. 
Oh, 18 combo there from the punch chart. Punch chart actually punching. Uh, given we've called him punch chart, at some point I will have to set him up so that he is actually punching and not just kicking. Ooh, almost got to the point. I mean, we're getting to the point now. Right, so these lower level guys, we can almost finish them off in a round. Ooh, good kick. He's uh, on the end of your ropes, so this should be over. Yeah, done. Victory! Six, we've got our points. We got 20 quid for it. Massive happiness. Took a bit of a beating. HP and energy, yeah, you can see his energy just crashed far, far quicker than ours. Pretty happy with the accuracy. He just didn't hit us. Yep, I will sign up for that. Uh, I don't want to spend the skill points yet because we are going to head back to the grocery store. But I want to get that up to eight. So we need to buy some meat. We need to head home. By foot. And we need to sleep until we are hungry. Yes, I know, upcoming fights, we've dropped down. I'm gaining quite a lot, but once we've got uh, Agility 8, well, we'll be able to avoid having to do much work for quite a while. Yep, I know you're hungry. I was waiting for you to tell me you were hungry. Eat those meats. Go pet the cat. Yes, good cat. Good, good. And then we are going to... Travel by foot and hang out with Roy. And Delia says something. Let's work on his car for a little bit then. Yep, yeah, alright, so that's that caught up. It's just we trained together. No, I clicked the wrong one there. Oh, good, Roy. Yeah, he's still looking for flowers. Um, suggest to train together. Get our train on. Alright, so we're headed for the gym. Grand. So, we're just going to try and max that out as much as we possibly can. City map. There's the gym. By foot. In we go. And there's Roy, who just kind of stares there and watches us, which is kind of weird and a bit creepy. But his boost... Do it, fella. 15% more efficient training, We've got, we're in a really, really good mood, so we should be able to get to Agility 8 pretty quickly. Come on! Yep, I know. He's just going to let strength and, uh, strength and stamina just atrophy and drop off. We're just not interested. We are an agility-based character. We're all about the spectacular flips and kicks, gymnastics and dexterity. If I go over here. Let's set to work on that one. Oh. We don't have enough money to buy any snack food and the rest of it, so if we do get hungry, we're going to have to take a break from this. Come on, let's get up to eight. Would it be hard work? We're about to run out of Roy. So we've used his bonus well. Which will be filled up on food before we came in, and you are now fed up with that. Alright, get onto this. This is going to bump our strength up a little bit, but it does give us some dex points. Let me feel your power! It's kind of creepy, right? Alright, get back over on the speed bag. We're going to run out of food. We're not going to get to 8 today. Back over here for just a little bit. Keep going until we're hungry. No, he's hungry! Oh well. Well, we got pretty close. We just have to wait. Alright. So, we need to head to work. So let's go and do that. Because we need cash. So we're out of food. Too tired. 
to work because you're hungry. Uh, Alright, well, let's see if we can get some food from Mick. Alright, so that's the last time we're getting any food. City map. Work. End of the day. Yeah, we're dropping down. So our fights today. We are not going to get any better, actually, since we will be training, so we might as well just go for it. Alright, Gordon, 366. Six. You've got Backlash, Counterattacks, Sharp Sting. Opponent's blocking is the one we're not blocking, and you've also got Windflow Dodge, and you're a Technician, giving a high dodge chance. Alright, we're probably going to lose this one. I suspect he is just going to out agility us. He's just going to have much more stamina. I mean, just look at the amount of his hit points he's got. You can do it, Bunchard. I believe that you won't fail too badly in this fight, but we're down to half health already. And we've barely made a dent. I mean, he's running out of energy. But it's just, just simply going to be too little too late. We'd have to be completely beating him on energy for quite a while. And there's a 17, 22, 28 combo against us. So we're basically down to one hit, done. And we've lost, as expected. We got ourselves some four points. Yeah, we just were not hitting him hard enough. It was far too accurate. Alright, we wouldn't get any cash for that, but... And we got beaten up a fair bit. We do need to go and do some work. Just work as long as we can. Just get ourselves a hundred quid, go to the shop and buy a load of stuff. Make sure we've got a full tank of that. Probably gonna run out and sleep in a sec. Yep, hungry. A little bit too tired. So to the grocery store. I would like to buy some of your finest meat. That's two of them. Enjoy. Anything else we can get? Frozen pizza? Not as great value for money, but we're in kind of a bit of a bind here. We got ourselves into a cash flow problem. And so we need to go here. Go by foot. We're going to eat the frozen pizza. It should give us enough energy to sleep. Sleep, punch child. Dream, sweet dreams and violence. Yeah, you're hungry. Let's grab some meat. And then, yeah, let's eat both the meat in the fridge. You're not too bad in condition right now, punch child. Go to work. When are we next to you? Stop that just a sec. When are we next to you to fight? Two days. Alright. Let's spend a couple of days just earning some cash. Get our finances in order so we can fill the fridge. Come on. Done. Alright. Let's fill the fridge. If you like pizza, my friend owns a restaurant. I think he might have a job for you. Okay. That sounds useful. Um, but what I want is to spend that much money on food. And then we are heading. Oh! job offers we found here. Alright, well that's that one done. But right now what we need to do is sleep. Because Punchard is tired again. Because he spent the day jackhammering with a hammer that jacks. Sorry about the lack of fighting that's going on in this particular episode. It's mostly been... He's, well, so we've done a few fights, but it's mostly um, punch judges battling back and forth between work and sleep, so we don't necessarily need to see that as everyone else's lives. No, his mood's reasonably good. You are hungry. So, eat the pizza, eat the meat. 
Let's not put you that up, I think. We're not in the best of moods. We could just sit and watch TV for a bit. We are, however, going to go to the gym and get our training on. Just a bit. And we're going to see how high we can get that before the end of the day. I'd be very surprised if we can get it above 8 without Roy's help. Just not going up fast enough. Day 36 shall end. Well, we're going to bring it all the way up to about here ish or so. I've really got the truck tire from. It's a hell of a sledgehammer as well. Vending machine weights. We already had the repair chip at this, this previously. Jimmy can't use the uh, free weights at all. Stamina. Yeah, let's get you over here and just. I think. I don't necessarily think we'll be able to get that all the way up, but we might be able to just pop it up to stamina 2, just to give us a few more hit points. Maybe the scale. Because at the end of the day, you do get a points tick saying how much they've gone up and down, as well as that getting to a higher one requires more effort. Come on. Fight. Oh, we're fighting Roy. Well, we've beaten Roy a fair few times. You're a demoralizer. All damage done with you. 20% damage reduction. Thanks, Roy. Alright, we are 172. He's a 423. So he's more of a bruiser. So they should go in our favor. Oh, he's uh, said taking that, taking an 11 point hit. He's like, think about puncher. He's like, uh, dodge his punches. Dodge the punches. Don't get hit by his low kick, that will sting. Right, well, we're winning the energy game. He keeps whiffing and wafting like that. We might stand a chance, getting a few more hit points. Not 14 points of that, and then we got his uh, was low kick dude. Lower stamina agility. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty unpleasant debuff. Oh, looks like we might get him out of energy for the rest of the round. Oh no, he's got skip. Clever. We're almost out of energy, so it looks like I will be ditching this one. Did we pick up skip attack? No, we didn't. So just grab a simple punch. Okay, so who runs out of energy first on this one? The health is very similar, the energy is very similar. Come on, get that kick in. There we go, so we get a little bit of a boost, he goes down, we get the extra bonus damage. One more. Come on, put Roy down. Oh, oh we've got more energy, we need to get one more blow in. One, two, and we're done. Defensive is causing us a lot of problems. That's six more points, a chunk of cash. We're going to spend that cash by going straight back in the gym. Actually, not now. We are going to spend that cash by dashing home. Stuffing meat in our face. Let's go all the way. We are no longer even the slightest bit hungry. No, I went to the wrong place. Get in that gym. So we're going to sign up for the next fight as always. Get in that gym. Get on the speedball. Come on, get this up. Plenty of time. Come on, get it up. Eight, eight, eight. You're already pretty bored with this technique already because we were doing it earlier. So this obviously ticks spends quick. This, this recovers at a certain rate in the background. So he's been doing this so much before the fight that he's not in it. Very little interest in doing it after the fight. I was doing this before the fight, man. At boss, why? You, why am I still doing it? Let's run it into the ground. Done. Skill tree. Where the tiger? Don't fall down. Nice. So we're only a few points off getting our next one. So what have we got modifier wise? So we've got the karate kick. Replaces kick. Backlash was a counter attack. One rain of strikes. Blocking is 25% weaker. No one's unstoppable. Replaces backlash. Counterattack. 
If an active, any dodge attack will deal 40% of the blocker's vintage damage. Alright, so, all Rice Eater. 50% more agility when training. Those are both interesting, but I don't think we need that one just yet because we've got Don't Fall Down. What I am thinking of actually is Unstoppable will be really, really good. Um, as would Reign of Strikes. But right now, we can not We can only take one of them and only install one of them because we don't have enough tech slots. So after we do that one, we are going to have to flick around and try and find another ability focus thing to pick up. In the interim... Yeah, skip attack would be nice. We should probably... Do we want to carry on training? We are here, we are pretty happy and full. Let's, probably, let's go and explore the pizza shop, I think. But before we do that, we will exit the gym. And we will kick the stuffing out of you. No! Apparently not. Handbag training. 50 to, I think, is, it not, is that going to give us enough? Is that going to give us 13? Let's do it anyway. Drop punch. Bring in backhand high. 12, 15, 7, 10. Oh, decent combos. So it just takes off for a round. If that your bottle would get high enough, you can actually knock him down. Yes, we did get two skill points, so we can quickly jump back to here, grab the way of the tiger, and we will now become unstoppable. So we don't even need to bother going back up to backlash. Technician. The chance to dodge is higher and more agility dependent. That is a flat trait. We don't need to put um Yes, because it's got the, this style of outline, so we might jump back and get the technician at late day. We don't need backlash anymore, because we went up and got unstoppable. So, for the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, Punch Jard is now unstoppable. The unstoppable Punch Jard. That sounds like a comic. Alright. Bye for now, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been Punch Jard in Punch Club. Please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe.